In this video, we are going to learn layering, which is one of the methods of vegetative propagation of horticultural crops. Subscribe this channel and click the bell icon to get instant notification of new videos posted here. Layering is a vegetative propagation technique in which adventitious roots are induced on a stem while it is attached to mother plant. It is used to propagate plants that do not root easily from cuttings. Plant with flexible stems that can be bent down to ground level are chosen for layering. Layers from mother plants can be obtained by inducing adventitious roots in the stem. Adventitious roots are induced in the stem at desired location where favorable environment for root growth is created and downward translocation of carbohydrates and auxins are blocked. It is achieved by blanching, bending, wounding, girdling, and application of rooting hormone. Layering can be divided into seven types. Tip layering Simple layering Compound layering Trench layering Mount layering Drop layering and air layering. In tip layering, the tip of the flexible current season's shoot is inserted into 7.5 to 10 cm deep hole and covered with media or soil. The tip grows downward, bends sharply and grows upward and forms roots at the bend. Crops propagated by tip layering are blackberry, raspberry, gooseberry and currant. In simple layering, the low-growing, flexible shoot is bent to the ground leaving the remaining 15 to 30 centimeters above the ground. Tip of the branch is staked in vertical position and lower side of bend is wounded. Crops propagated by simple layering are climbing roses, jasmine, guava, rhododendron, and honeysuckle. Compound layering is otherwise known as serpentine layering. In compound layering, a section of the low-growing, flexible shoot each with at least one lateral bud is alternatively buried and exposed. Crops propagated by compound layering are American grapes, clematis, and peperomia. Trench layering is also known as etulation layering. Plants that exhibit strong apical dominance and minimal shoot formation following a cutback are preferred. In trench layering, New plants are placed at an angle in the stool bed. The established plants are laid over and held in place with a wire or peg. The horizontal orientation of the stem causes a loss in apical dominance and new shoots arise from the lateral buds along the stem. Shoots are gradually covered with media to induce roots at the base. Crops propagated by trench layering are apple rootstocks, cherry, plum and walnut. Mound layering is also known as stool layering. In mound layering, stem is cut to 0.5 cm above the soil surface in the dormant season. New shoots will emerge from the dormant buds in the spring. Soil is mounded over the new shoots as they grow. Roots will develop at the bases of the lateral shoots. Layers are removed in the dormant season. Crops propagated by mound layering are apple rootstocks, pear rootstocks, plum, quince, magnolia, cottonista, gooseberry, currant, hydrangea, cherry, hazelnut, and pecan nut. Drop layering is a modification of mound layering where the plants are grown in double stacked containers rather than the field. The stock plant is cut back and covered with a bottomless container. New shoots are gradually covered with a well-aerated medium to induce rooting. Air layering is also known as marcottage, gooty, and Chinese layerage. In air layering, shoot of pencil thickness is selected and 2.5 to 5 cm long ring of bark is removed just below the node. Cambial tissues on the ringed portion are scrapped. Rooting hormone is applied in the distal end of girdled area. Cut portion is packed with moist sphagnum or peat moss. Then it is wrapped with plastic sheet and both ends are tied to retain moisture and prevent water from entering. After roots are visible inside the bag, layers are cut from the mother plant and potted. Crops propagated by air layering are litchi, kagzi lime, 
guava, croton, dumb cane, dracaena, rubber plant, scephlera, azalea, magnolia and roses. Thank <laughs> you.